Great Matter City. Two hours of low tide. What will we see here? That's the way I like it. No waves. You girls walking on any treasure while you're out there? I hope so. Yeah. <laughs> if you find some, we can get part of that. <laughs> Something right here. Might be a sinker. I got a nice hit. There it is. 1226. First target. Now, what's it going to be? I'm thinking. Great man's got a thimble and a ballpoint pen, he said. There's a spot where we need to get right there between them two spots, you see it? Where that little girl is moving around, it's off of her. That little dark spot in between the two, the two bars, Yeah. that's where we need to be. Oh uh, yeah, that's a nice thimble. Okay. I don't know what this is going to be, but it's a solid 1216. Like to stop me in my tracks. One scoop cheap. Oh, you turkey. Look at that. God. Well, here's a 1222 to stop me in my tracks. Now it's shifted to 11.20. Back to 12.22. Seven inches deep. My damn, I've dug four scoops off of it. I'll be in China in a minute. Come out of there, you gentlemen. Still down there hollering at me. Get me out of there. Save me. Save me, baby. Stand by. Well, 22. That 12, 22 right there, you piece of junk, you. Here's a knockout 1205 right here. I don't know what it's going to be, but it's a nice, fat, nice sound. 1205. Well, 12.05 initially is nothing. And it's just off to the left side a little bit. Oh, this is what I wanted. A nice bottle cap. At 12.05. Now that's a fine bottle cap. You're going to look for bottle caps. That's the kind you want. Them big black ones. All that crap on them. Life is not fair in the lane. I got 
10 scoops off of it. Denny's got three. We still ain't got it. 1242. 1243. <laughs> it's got to be deep iron, but it's still in there, whatever it is. This will be the last one. We'll get the hell out of the way from this baby. Still in there. I'll do one more myself. <laughs> you know, it's as long as this hole. Yeah, that's why I think it's a deep it's iron now. There. Yeah. It's over here. Ring man, got a barber. Did, did you just take a barber too? I mean a mercury? Oh, this is the first mercury. No, this is a mercury. Yeah, that's your first one or your second one? No, this is the first one. I oh, think. I thought it was your second one. No. This that is cloud a, is moving over, looks like. Fourth dime, man. Fourth dime right in here in this box. Yeah. That's why he said it's going to That's right. Ring man strikes again. Nice taquito too. That's a nice one. Hey. I dug a lot of nickel so far. I finally got one that's Come on, 1964. I know you won't be able to see it, but that's what it is. That's the first one, old one. It's breezing up. Right where we're finding the targets. Stand by. Nitroglycerin. My first wheat penny. I don't know if you can see it or not, but that's what it is. That's not a wheat penny. That's a nitro. Nineteen forty-four to getting better. Another wheat penny. Oh, it's getting rough here. Ah! Today when I find one of them. My favorite taquito. Well, while we're getting ready for the roundup, we just washed everything off good with the hose. We got two big watches to crack over it. While we're still wet and nasty, we might as well do it while we're outside. Stand by. The uh, CTX tip I'm going to put in at the end of this video something I did to my CTX today I put a link to the video where I found it some of you CTX people have probably seen it some may not have anyway it'll be in there stand by well the first one had a bunch of shiny crap in it like pop metal stuff no you know nothing of any value with a lot of that little shiny stuff stand by let's get the other one out of there threw this one up on a beach so I wouldn't have put it in my pouch because it was heavy you can see it's got some type of roundish looking object right there then he swung over and said it rung 1237 laying up on the beach. Stand by. Oh, I ain't got to go too deep with it. <laughs> it's a battery cable. That round thing was the back with the nuts on it. I mean the front part was going through with the bolts it. Battery cable. God! That couldn't have been a silver thing from the 1500s or something. We had a good day today, can't complain. The weather sounds kind of iffy for tomorrow. I don't know if we'll be able to go or not. we have to play it by ear. Stand by. Okay, here's the tip. 
That's not this red. Are you listening? Not listening good now. Didn't work. Well, I suppose it'll snap <laughs> real fast and that noisy. It did it when I put it in there. Must have seated itself. A new O ring has made the scene. It's fatter and bigger. I'll put the link to it in there, like I said, and the video that goes with it. The video says you're supposed to change this one as well on the USB thing. Put a smaller O ring on that. But I haven't done that yet. I did this one the day before I went. And probably a good thing. Not that not that there was anything wrong with the red one, but we took a beating the day and got banged up pretty good. So it's better to have some extra than it is adequate. The big ones are uh 2.5 by 79 millimetric o-rings NBR stand by you see they're bigger in diameter than in the damn little pink when it comes with it I guess that's the uh, 2.5 right there 79 millimeter is the length I think but don't quote me on that because I don't know anything about o-rings I just used what was in the video and got the ones, the only ones I could find. These came out of Texas somewhere. I have a local guy that sells O-rings. I got them. He ordered them for me last week. They came in Friday. I didn't pick them up till this morning. The little one goes under the USB thing. Some in the video, he takes the rubber thing that's in there and throws it away and uses one of these. But he also says if the threads are good, use both. So I didn't do anything with it. Like I said, these are 2 by 19.5 metric NBR. I'll give you a better picture of them later, or at the end there. Like I said, this is probably not going to be for everybody, but I, every little bit helps, I think. Stand by. Ten nickels. Three of them. one was a 44, 43, and a 64, and two unknown wheats. One bigger down, no quarters. One 22. I think Danny had a 22 and a nine millimeter. Look like he text, texted me said his ring was uh, an 18k with the real diamond and either rubies or amethyst or some kind of red stones on each side. You'll see a better picture of it later. Okay, stand by for Tuesday if the weather permits.